Hi everybody, I have a MacBook Pro with basic version of internal memory, which isn't a lot. So I decided to make this video to share some tips with you on how to get more disk space on Mac. You're on the Electronic Team channel. I'm Mikey and let's get started. I often encounter the problem of running out of disk space on my Mac because I shoot numerous videos and there are a lot of accompanying files that take up a significant amount of space. When dealing with not enough disk space, Mac users have several options to resolve this issue. And now I'll tell you about them. The first option involves using an external SSD on which the files are stored. My Mac often looks like a hospital patient with numerous devices constantly connected to it. Due to the lack of free space on Mac, I also rely on external drives. Currently, I have two of them, but I constantly need to take them with me to access all my files instantly. In my opinion, this method is only suitable for home use. The second way how to increase storage on Mac is quite common for me. These are SD cards that I record video on. I have several of them, and you wouldn't believe how often I've accidentally mixed them up and taken the wrong one to the wrong place. Well, the third way how to get more storage on Mac is to use cloud storage. Since I'm an active user, I have multiple cloud storage accounts. To connect Google Drive, OneDrive and Dropbox simultaneously and manage them from one place, I use Cloud Mounter. Cloud Mounter is an application that allows you to add an unlimited number of different cloud storage services to your Mac and use these storages as folders to which you can upload your files, use them for various purposes, and then download them from your system to free up space. It's incredibly convenient because all these cloud storage options integrate with Finder and work natively with your Mac. Here, as an example, I have video files that I use for my project. They are currently stored on my system, and I use them as if they were located in the Downloads folder. But once I'm finished with these files, I free up space by right-clicking and selecting Remove Download. That's it. Although the file remains visible in the system, it no longer takes up space. One of the coolest advantages is the ability to add an unlimited number of cloud storage accounts. For example, if you have multiple Google Drive accounts, work and personal, you can add them all to the system and expand your total storage space by 45 GB, 15 3 GB per account. Cloud Mounter adds these accounts as folders in Finder, and if you need to move a file from one account to another, you can simply copy it, just like you would with regular files on your Mac. Thank you for watching this video. I recommend trying out Cloud Mounter for yourself. You can find a discount coupon in the description below this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you soon.